Virgo, someone wants to apologize to you. There's an apology coming. Okay. So you have memories, reminiscing, dwelling, and bittersweet. Someone could be thinking about the past. Okay. Or someone is thinking about you, but from the past. You're no longer that person, Virgo. You're someone completely different. But someone remembers something. You have trapped and broken. So your memory of someone could be negative or their memory of you could be negative yeah I feel like when someone is going down memory lane or when they're thinking about you it's not in a, it's not in a positive way yeah thinking or this could be you Someone remembers being trapped. They remember being broken or heartbroken. Yeah, someone's memory could be coming back. And now they remember something. Okay. Yeah, exhaustion. Beginnings and open heart. I feel like someone wants to start over with you. Or they want a new beginning. But someone in this, this energy, they're exhausted, they're tired, they're drained. Okay. Someone is also afraid of being vulnerable because of what happened in the past. Yes, yeah, someone's memory, someone's memory is negative. Someone does not have a positive memory of someone else. But whomever this person is, they do want to apologize for making you feel this way. Okay. Or maybe you want to apologize. Okay. Yeah, releasing. Hoping. Someone is also getting over. They're letting go of the idea of being back together. They're letting go of that. OK. 
okay? Because this person knows that you deserve better. You know that you deserve better. They know they deserve better. You have date. Get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date. Okay, so someone is going out on a date. <laughs> or you're going to be asked out on a date, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like for a very long time, you could have been in healing energy or healing mode, healing from the past. Now you're ready to get back out there. You're ready to start dating again. Yeah, this is a new chapter. You have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, and struck by love. Yeah, someone is getting ready to start dating again. Okay. Yeah, love is definitely coming. And mask. Okay. Now, something that you should be aware of is that this person could be wearing a mask, okay? They could be a gaslighter. They're, they're used to gaslighting. Or someone is hiding how they truly feel. Engagement ring. I'm picking up love at first sight. Love at first sight. What is mask? Wow, you have the snake. So someone is a snake. It's almost like you can't get away from this, this type of person or this type of snake-like energy. Yes, yeah, someone did not learn their lesson. I mean, learning your lesson is more than just moving on, moving forward. You actually have to do the shadow work. Someone is not doing that. They're not going within, trying to figure out um, parts of themselves of what's attracting that kind of person. I feel like something has to do with boundaries. What you will allow, what you won't allow. Getting someone wants to marry you very quickly. So that could be a red flag. They're ready to commit after the first or second date. Or you could consider that a, um, a red flag. Okay. Yeah, the snake again. ex is also competing or trying to compete with their new person I'm not sure how this person is going to find out that you moved on or you're dating someone else you're with someone else but they're going to find out this could be through stalking But they're competing with this, this new lover. Okay. What is the snake? 
Yeah, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before the snake is exposed. Get to know this person, Virgo. Once you start to see red flags, or once you start to notice red flags, you should take that seriously. Don't ignore it because it's only going to get worse. Oh, you have camera. Reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and perception. The chaser and separation. I feel like someone is afraid of being alone. Someone is afraid of being alone. They could be codependent on you. I feel like the snake in the reading is your ex. Or the snake could be a Virgo. But I feel like the snake is someone from your past. I don't think I don't think the snake is this new person. But I feel like you're just trying to you're trying to get away from that kind of energy, but it continues to follow you around. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, they're keeping tabs on you. This person from the past. They're watching you obsessively. They're watching, they're looking at your pictures obsessively. Okay. They're not going to tell you that, of course. Yeah, I feel like someone does not, they don't have a good memory of this person. Like someone's memory is completely negative. Yeah, the sun and the strength card. Someone could be a Leo or you could have Leo placements, heavy Leo. Strength card, the sun. I feel like whatever the four of pentacles is, whatever they're holding back. There's going to be clarity about it. Or someone wants to know why you're withholding information. Or something like that. Someone feels like you're being sneaky. I don't think you're being sneaky. I just feel like it's none of your, it's none of their business. Okay. They could say that, or you could say that it's none of their business. Five of swords. So now they want to argue. Yeah. Someone wants to argue all of a sudden. Yeah, seven of wands. They're defensive. 
okay. It's almost like they're trying to force you. They're trying to force you to give out information. Or someone just simply wants to know what you're thinking. But it's like they're trying to push your buttons in order to get this information out. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Capricorn, Pisces. This is someone from your past. Someone does not know what you're thinking. They don't know what you're up to. So they're going to try to start an argument or a disagreement because they want you to just, I guess, shout or scream or just say whatever. So They'll have a clue as to what you're thinking. I feel like you're not even going to speak to this person. They're going to be disappointed with the five of cups. Yeah, nine of swords, two of swords. Now they're worried. They're anxious. They don't know what to do. Because they can't get they can't get you to speak up or reveal what you're thinking or what you're doing yeah now